Hello friends and welcome. This is Bonky speaking for our first voiceover video on this channel. That's quite riveting, I have to say. Welcome. This is my voice. <laughs> so today I'm here with an oil pastel drawing for you. It's a bit messy. It's a bit of an uh, exploration because I was watching YouTube a few days ago and I thought to myself, man, Black Bean CMS is art. It's so good. They were the one who actually inspired me to, to get oil pastels. And so I thought to myself, hey, they've been, they've been lying around gathering dust for a while now. So why not just play some of Black Bean's videos in the background and try to give them another spin? So here we are. The sketch that I made for this drawing, I was gonna do something else with it, but then when inspiration struck, I had to kind of shift gears and uh, do something different. This is a drawing of Solus from Dragon Age Inquisition. I've been playing this game obsessively for the past maybe two months, and you know, I, I could not get this character out of my head. Here you can see me blending in all of the colors that I put down for the skin tone together with white pastel. I have to tell you, I was so full of fear <laughs> while doing this. I try to go for a colorful approach, just uh, trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and test the boundaries which uh, I set in place for myself. I went in with pink and orange and yellow for the warmer areas like the cheeks, the ears, you can see a little bit on, on the chin, the um, eyes, and then of course for the uh, colder, the shadowy areas around the hollow cheekbones that he has, um, I went in for like green, blue, grayish tones, and I think it looks pretty good. I used a reference picture that I took from like a screenshot in the game from one of his cutscenes. It doesn't look exactly true to the screenshot, but um, it was a good starting point for the general tones that he has. So I'm working in that white pastel, still trying to blend in all of the colors and all of the cool stuff going on. I darkened the areas around his eyes and his ears with... At first I went in with blue and then I went in with this cool pinkish red. By the way, these pastels are the Mungyo oil pastels. I have a 48 set and I like it quite a lot. Sometimes it's hard to get details with oil pastels because you cannot sharpen them unless you want to lose product, which I'm not going to do. So if my hand gets in the frame while I'm doing like stuff on the eyes, I'm sorry. It is the best I can do. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed working on this. I had no direction at first, but I'm really glad how things turned out. Here I am wiping off that white oil pastel. It was quite overworked. And uh, sometimes it's good to wipe off the pastels to kind of make sure you don't get any residue off uh, on the paper in different areas, which I did, <laughs> not at this point exactly, but while working on the lips at some point, I smudged them a bit more than I had hoped I would, so. When my dad saw this drawing after it was done, he asked me if it's Prometheus from the movie Prometheus, and I was, I was slightly disgruntled, but then I kind of laughed, so. If you see Prometheus, he, the, you know, this drawing can be whoever you want it to be, right? Earlier, I used a watercolor brush to kind of swipe off the um, excess oil pastel uh, crumbs <laughs> that get left behind when you layer them, just to make sure I don't accidentally kind of like wipe my hand over them and smudge everything everywhere. You do get a bit of smudging if you use uh, a brush to do that. At least the kind of brush that I have is not extremely helpful with this, but we take what we get. Oh, here's the smudging. That's where the smudging happens on the lip. That was a fun little experience, but 
I wouldn't recommend. It did get fixed in the end because these oil pastels layer beautifully. They're great. They're so creamy. They're fabulous. I would recommend them. These were my first um, oil pastels. I have never tried anything else, so I have no, nothing to compare them to. Other than maybe Neo Color 2s, which are... They aren't really oil pastels. They're more like crayons, sticks, pencils, watercolor, something. But in any case, the Mungyo oil pastels that I'm using, oh, I love them. I'm quite obsessed with them. And they were also pretty cheap for how good they are. So I would totally recommend them to you if you have access to them, if you can get them and you want to try out oil pastels, they're a pretty reasonable option. I can give you many details on the paper that I use because it's an A3 piece of paper from an old drawing pad that I have since probably middle school. And I wanted to use it because once more it's been sitting next to my desk for a really long time. And I just, it's not the greatest paper, but it's good enough. It's thick, doesn't have much of a tooth to it. And I thought it would be great for this experiment which I didn't know would end up in an experiment, but here we are, it's a happy ending, right? I'm trying to build up more colors, more variety in the shades or on the eyes, and I'm working on his little fur cape. Just to kind of frame his face a little bit, frame his uh, neck. I didn't want to continue the drawing and kind of like do a half body, full body. Even if I would have had the room for it, I just... I wanted to focus on the face, on the portrait. Going in with that white again, working over time, look at it go. I'm going in with a brush again to wipe off some of that excess uh, crumb going on. I don't know what I was trying to do with his color, but I really just slammed a bunch of colors in there and called it a day. More detailing on the fur coat, which I would like to mention was not in the reference picture, but I thought it would look cool. Otherwise, it would have been a bit too empty around his face. I cannot get enough of these oil pastels. They're just so great, so creamy. Also, they don't smell like anything. I've heard with other oil pastels that some of them smell bad. These are great. I'm a big fan. Here we go, darkening some of the shadows a bit more. I'm going in with a brown. Going in again to the inner corners. I also like to blend with my fingers sometimes. I didn't do it too much for this drawing, but for like other projects, I did it quite a bit. But oh, here's what can happen. If there are crumbs left on the paper, which happened because I did not brush it off when I should have brushed it off, you can smush a crumb and you would get a little bit of a stain, which can be covered up later. But it still is a bit annoying, especially if you're trying to achieve a like super clean swipe of color. Yeah, not nice. Thankfully, I was not trying to be too clean with this. Here I started working on the background, moving out the 
stuff out of the place. Look at me just collecting all of the lovely things I've used so far into one place. I like this. This was fun to do. I'm going in with a darker blue on top of black. I think I used three different colors for the background. I think I used like the black, indigo, and maybe like a Prussian blue to lay down all that beautiful night sky looking shadowy moment. Here I am outlining his beautiful bald head. Just, <laughs> just like a moon shining against the dark sky, showing us the way. I do not know what I'm saying, but I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun too. I'm not sure if you can see it or if you will be able to see it on camera, maybe later. But um, I just loved the way the colors layered in the background. Just, you could see almost every swipe of color layered on top of the other. It, it's great. This drawing, I swear, this drawing made me love oil pastels. In case you're wondering why you cannot hear any of the oil pastel hitting the paper, it's because, look, it was a pretty quiet day when I filmed this video, but I was just watching Black Bean CMS videos on YouTube at like full blast to get inspired and to just have some background noise going on. So my apologies, <laughs> that is my fault. But I promise that in future videos, I will be more careful and will be more quiet so that you can enjoy the wonderful ASMR sounds of oil pastels. I think I like it way more than I like the sound of pencils. Sometimes it's a bit too scratchy for me, pencils I mean, so I find myself listening to music to kind of like block them out. Here I'm adding a few more details, a few stars in the night sky, and we're done. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being here if you made it all the way through. And if you would like to support me and my channel and if you want me to do more videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe, drop a like and maybe even join my Patreon. Thank you so much!